Fire, the greatest party to never happen. Netflix's documentary on the Fire Festival. Uh, Hulu dropped theirs on Monday. It's Friday. They dropped theirs. Uh, fire and man, Hulu and Netflix fighting fire with fire. Ha! Mm, wordplay. There we go. So. The Netflix documentary of uh, Fire Festival comes at, there's some different angles uh, than the Hulu documentary. There, it's, it's hard to talk about this one without like kind of comparing it, but it's just, it's because, you know, they're com kind of competing documentaries. Um, both just, you know, this this one, it just talks about like Billy McFarlane once again and how he, he had a lot of things behind him that uh, he, he was trying really hard to get this going and the guy's kind of a scam artist the guys uh, he's doing a lot of scamming uh, multiple times even after the festival happened uh, and failed um, it, the greatest party that didn't happen the party really didn't happen just craziness happened they got to the island and craziness happened and there, there's this media group uh, who also was involved with trying to make this happen and they were getting a lot of people pay they're paying a lot trying to pay a lot of people and getting a lot of people uh, hyped and, and ready for this big festival to happen and and a lot of people got messed up because of this festival a lot of people worked really hard and just Nothing came of it. No money. Not, 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 none of the, nothing that they expected. Nothing that they were promised. And and a lot of people got hurt because of this. And it's messed up. That's a the documentary really shows that there's there is a a, a big group of people that were involved. And there was a lot of lies and, and a lot of people just not listening to you know what should have been done and how to do it the correct way to do it. Just people trying to like correct a lot of mistakes and and other people that were. You know, the, the main people in charge of this were just not listening. And, and there's just so many points in, in the documentary where it seems like these guys should have really just pulled out. Like, but people wanted to get paid. People put invested a lot of time and effort into this uh, festival. And, and it's just really messed up. Like, there was a very low point where this, they, just for water, this one guy had to do something with or was willing to do something, which is very terrible, and I, I don't want to repeat it, but if you watch the documentary, it's crazy, and I, I just think to myself, wow, this person must have invested something immense into this, like, their, their life must depend on this thing becoming something, because I don't understand why they can't just go, nah, you know, my efforts and time and the money that I put into this, I think it it's not worth it. But, man, they they really wanted this to go on and happen, and, and it, it just didn't. It, it's just craziness. Hap uh, it's craziness so much. And it's sad, and it's a little heartbreaking at times just to, it's for certain people. Like, there's other people with money and influencers and stuff like that. I, whatever about them, honestly. They're, it's like their lives... It was a blimp that, like, their jet, their private jet in life hit a little turbulence. That's it. Other than that, but the people who worked hard physically on those islands and stuff like that really sucks for them. And this documentary shows that. And, yeah, so it's a pretty interesting documentary. Uh, if you get a chance to check it out, do check it out. Uh, yeah, there's multiple ones, so you got two to check out whatever streaming platform you get or however you can uh get this enjoy it uh slap a like on the video and most importantly have a great day